In this video, we will be discussing how to set low fuel alarms on the FP5L. The FP5L has four low fuel alarms, a reminder alarm, a low fuel alarm, a recurring fuel alarm, and a time to empty alarm. The reminder fuel alarm and the low fuel alarm are found in the used column. Toggle to the used column, press both buttons left and right of the toggle switch, and you'll see a three digit number with the first digit blinking. For the reminder alarm, there'll be a small tick mark in the top left hand corner of the screen. To change this alarm, you'll press the right button to advance the digit and the toggle to change the numeric value. If you press the right button until you see a small tick mark in the left hand bottom corner of the display, this is your low fuel alarm. This alarm cannot be turned off. Set the low fuel alarm by pressing the right digit and the toggle switch to the desired number. You'll then lock that programming in by pressing both the left and the right buttons to the toggle switch. If you toggle to the right to the time to empty and press both the left and the right buttons to the toggle switch, this will be a time format. There'll be a small tick mark in the top left hand corner of the display. This is your time to empty alarm. You can change this alarm by pressing the right or left button to advance the digit. Press the toggle switch to change the numeric value. If you press the right button until the tick mark moves to the bottom left hand corner, this is your recurring fuel alarm. You can change this by advancing the digit left or right with the program buttons and changing the amount with the toggle switch. Once you're finished, you can press both program buttons left and right of the toggle switch to lock that value in. And that's how you program your low fuel alarms.